Hello Aries, welcome everyone. Watchers, cross watchers, subscribers, and new visitors, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and I'm so glad you stopped by. This reading is a thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions reading for your person of interest. We have seen beyond. So your person feels as though they're very intuitive. I don't necessarily think that they are intuitive. And as we look at the reading, I'll explain why. I feel as though they think they know more about you than they actually know about you. So, and I will tell you that they are, they do feel as though your relationship has endless possibilities. They feel very excited. Well, you know, you're an Aries. You are some of the most interesting people in the Zodiac. You're exciting. You're fun. You're the sharp end of the spear. You always have something going on or a lot going on. But a tall tale. So when I get the third eye chakra with a tall tale, I feel this person doesn't always have the best awareness, okay? They think they do, but I, I think that's something they tell themselves. Oops, I'll put this over here so you can see it. All right, so the overall energy that they're bringing into the reading is one of being very uncomfortable. Uh, they absolutely want a legacy relationship with you. This is an abundant relationship. This is two self-made people coming together with great loyalty, dedication, ambition to have a beautiful home, a beautiful family, and a very wonderful relationship. You know, to me, this is my favorite card of all the marriage cards is this ten of coins because it's really being married happily ever after in a legacy leaving a legacy of love with friends family everybody that comes in contact with your relationship the five of swords and the eight of swords says that it looks like maybe um you have been fighting now that's the conclusion i draw but your person's in a kind of a weird mood feeling like life has been a bit unfair lately but they're not talking about it i don't necessarily think this has anything to do with you but it does show that this person is having a difficult time with how they process information they're feeling overwhelmed sometimes it's jobs could be with that ten of coins but right now it looks like they're holding a lot back from you but they feel kind of stressed out when i look at their energy when we look at the thoughts feelings intentions and actions i get that they want they're at a crossroads they want this legacy marriage this is the same card so they really intend to have that. They're not quite sure how they're going to get it with you, but they feel as though the two of you are at a crossroads. So when they look at you, they are so happy with you. You have two of the happiest cards in the deck. This is eat, drink, be merry, party, have fun, enjoy, laugh, let's yuck it up, let's celebrate the holidays, let's be with our friends. And that is the happily ever after marriage card. It's the, you know, he they th this person thinks you're an absolute gem that you are a person who shines very brightly Aries and you do you know they want to invest you know that is they feel as though they planted seeds in this relationship and they're getting a little impatient they want things to to happen more quickly is what I'm getting in terms of their heart space they love you so much two of cups soulmate energy of the minor arcana cancerian energy they feel as though you're the rock star absolutely the rock star the best person they've ever been with that you shine so brightly in the in the sky truly aries uh, they feel as though you're the most spiritual you're the best person but what's interesting about this is that they intend to keep you in the dark they are this is a sort of tall tales they're presenting to you this sort of image of not and it's mind games because five of swords can be mind games but there's they're trying to make you feel as though they're keeping their options open 
And hell no, they are not keeping their options open. But I'm a little uncomfortable with the fact that they're holding back at this time. The Nine of Swords says that your person's all in their head. They feel as though they've done things in this relationship that have hurt the relationship. They feel as though they owe you an apology, but I'm not really seeing one on the horizon. You're dealing with somebody, in my opinion, Aries, that's very stubborn devil energy. Um, so this person I don't think has had the same level in, of success overall, and I, I'm not throwing any shade here, but you have been more successful in your life in terms of your relationships than they have been because they don't really, they think they're intuitive, but again, they're really not. So, so you know, it happens. We can love everybody, right? Uh, this is a very loving person, though. This is this person really wants the creme de la creme of relationships with you. In terms of their uh, heart space, again, very much. But your person has a lot of stress in their heart space right now with these cards because it shows that they know they've done some things in the relationship to um, make it feel awkward to say the least. Okay. So when we look at their intentions, their intentions are in the true heart of the matter, the two of cups, two of cups. So their intentions are to have two hearts beating as one, six of cups, living their life with you, growing old with you, being loyal with you, wanting to have a new beginning with you. And the two of wands is their intention is to go ahead and make a commitment, step up, make a decision. But again, we have this in their intentions. They are like pretending head games again. Ugh. I, you know, sometimes people don't mean to play head games, and honestly, I don't think this person does. I don't think this person is intentionally hurting you. I think that they're so defensive. I think that they've had enough difficulty in relationships that, you know, this is a, a tall tale that they're telling themselves, that they're going to, if they act like a player with you, even though you have all of this incredible energy of how they really feel, um, they sort of want to make you feel worried. They're trying to worry you. They're trying to get you, it's a, a manipulative energy, to worry and to sort of close the gap. And when they do something wrong, they still want you to sort of bend over backwards to, to please them, to placate them, to give them what they want because they haven't had it in the past. I don't think anybody's ever done that for them. Um, but when we look at their actions, we get... The Wheel of Fortune is turning. They see, here you are in the reading. They see you as a beautiful Queen of Wands. They feel super lucky to have met you. The Wheel of Fortune, when the timing is right, they do plan on giving you an apology. They feel as though, but they're again being very strategic. This is a card of strategy, of being sneaky, of being sort of lying and deceptive. You know, they're, they want to apologize to you, but I feel as though this person doesn't apologize with words. I feel that their actions will be that they're holding back right now, but it looks as though they're going to give you a very generous holiday gift or whatever it is. You know, it's November right now. So we're looking at this and the Heart of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. This person actually has some really strong feminine nurturing energy. And they want to be very generous with you, but they're not really telling you anything right now. So when we look at their actions are being stealthy, you know, they're waiting for the right moment to make things better, I feel, very much. So this energy with this person looks like you've been together for a period of time. You know, any relationship meets obstacles and, you know, bumps in the road as it progresses. Your person does is highly invested here. So Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. I really am hoping that some of you could leave comments below with thorny relationship issues that you are struggling with because I am going to, I'm planning and designing some new readings based on your needs as opposed to whatever I think of. So I would really like it if you tell me there's a consistent problem. He texts too much. What can, you know, how can I interact with that? How can I deal with that? Uh, he isn't affectionate enough. Whatever are the systemic 
hardcore problems that you're facing in your relationships, that's what I would like to know in a generic way, in a way that I could design for everyone, okay? So let me know in the comments below. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And I look forward to seeing you in another reading, hopefully soon, Aries. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.